Logan Jake Paul's brother has asked for the fight between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson to be rescheduled. Since he doesn't see any situation in which Jake Paul emerges from this fight looking good, that is, if he defeats Mike Tyson, even though he is nearly 60 years old, and because he thinks Mike Tyson will be severely embarrassed. Additionally, if Mike Tyson fails a unique test specified in the fight rules, his fight with Jake Paul may be cancelled. But how real are all of these claims? Make sure you read through to the very end for all the information. The combatants are pushing for the bout to be classified as a professional one. The Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations, or TLDR, has the final say in any disputes. The TLDR may also opt to void the fight if Tyson fails one of their pre-fight examinations. According to their regulations, fighters above the age of 38 must present with positive electroencephalogram EEG, and electrocardiogram ECG, results. Former heavyweight world champion Tyson, who will be 58 years old by then, will make his Texas debut in four months. The EEG is used to evaluate fighters' brain illnesses, and the EKG is used to identify heart problems. As reported by Tan, the TBLR communications manager, USA Today Sports as most of you would know, even if Tyson passes the tests, the fight might still be regarded as an exhibition. However, we can also ask for more testing if we feel it's necessary. Since the news, the primary criticism has been directed towards Mike Tyson, 58, who was spotted using a wheelchair and cane a few years prior. Michael Bisping, the former middleweight champion of the UFC, even criticized Jake Paul for this. This is a joke. Respect to Mike Tyson, okay? One of the greatest heavyweights ever. That's a fact. He was ferocious. He was a knockout artist. You know all the details. Of the business didn't do too well. So now he drags up Mike Tyson. This will be him a real fighter. That's where I have an issue. He talks about being one of the best ever. Talking about being the greatest, being the champion of the world. He's a laughing stock. Eddie Hearn called him out on that. Back in the day, said, all right, I'll give you one of my guys who's up and coming. Didn't want to do it. And thinks the fight shouldn't happen, make sure to enable post notifications and subscribe to the channel. This way, you'll never miss any combat sports world footage before Mike Tyson's unexpected fight with Jake Paul later this year. Tony Bell told SpinBat in an interview that he was worried about the fighter's health. Bell voiced his worries on the occurrence. Although it worries me personally, you have no idea what has been decided upon by the two. He expressed his fear that Mike Tyson, who is over 30 years younger than him, will be facing a younger opponent in a boxing ring. It's a little bit crazy. I would hate to see Mike suffer any kind of injury. Therefore, I'm hoping this fight is a little staged and a little circus. See what transpires. There is no one who can stop him from earning a huge amount of money, which he will be receiving. Although the battle's rules have not yet been made public, it is rumored that the promoters are working to have the Texas Boxing Commission recognize the bout as a professional fight. One opponent of Tyson and Jake Paul's next battle on July 20th at AT and T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, is John Kavanaugh, the head of SBG Ireland and Conor McGregor's longtime coach. I don't know whether there's a wink and a nod behind the stage Kavanaugh stated on the MMA Hour, is Tyson going to be 60-58 full force? Blows to the head at 58. No, it's not a good idea no matter who you are. You don't need to be doing that if it was kind of an exhibition and they're kind of sparring great because I was asked about not necessarily just Mike, but this kind of YouTube boxing stuff and my take on it now, rather than being snobby about it, is I just love anything that gets more kids involved in sports great. If it's combat sports, boxing, wrestling, mixed martial arts, whatever the case may be, and if Jake Paul is doing a good job of filling local boxing gyms, that's a little bit of what we're trying to do brilliant, I'm not into the whole whatever else he's doing particularly, in that bout I don't think someone approaching 60 needs to be fighting, it would appear Jake hits hard, he's knocked out a few guys, so I just hope that it is what it is it's kind of an entertaining thing, and they move around the ring and kind of spar, as long as it's that thumbs up, and he's not wrong, there's no way that both of them will Now, who am I to argue that either Jake Paul or Mike Tyson shouldn't be boxing? I wish them well, after all, isn't the main goal here to make what I would call a ton of money? Alright, so this 57-year-old dude was once the undisputed world heavyweight king, according to Paul Fury. Let's face it, who wouldn't want to go from watching Mickey Mouse cartoons as a child to competing against Mike Tyson? Before we continue watching the video, you must adore them both. 
What honest opinions do you people have about the impending showdown between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul? Is there a chance for a major upset if Jake Paul prevails and does so in a spectacular way? Or will Mike Tyson continue to prove that he is the greatest boxer of all time? Please leave a comment below. Before the much-anticipated brawl, Logan, Jake's brother, made an incredible discovery. Logan revealed that he was initially extended an invitation to face Tyson, but he turned it down. For both Mike and Jake, the bag. Like, at what, po at what point, you can't, I don't know if you can say no. I said no to fighting Mike Tyson. I'd say no. I was, I was offered it. And you I, actually offered it? Yeah, I was offered it, but not on Netflix and not for a big ass bag. Yeah. It was just like a, it was just like a, oh, this could be a real fight. Because I've, I've been asked before, I'm sure you have too. Do you think you could beat Mike Tyson? And my answer was and will be yes. Well, yeah, I just think, what, I just think now? Yes, I just think he's too old, bro. That's oh, crazy. Oh, God, God. You wouldn't believe they were, given their online personas and the fact that they are brothers. Logan Paul seems to be attempting to discredit the news that his brother would soon be facing Iron Man. It's funny that he said he would defeat Mike Tyson because the latter is too old and afraid, considering he was unable to even take down Dylan Dennis. It's not true, Jake Paul retorted, a few days after his brother Logan Paul suggested he back out of his own bout with Mike Tyson. It was we that presented the offer to Mike Tyson. After negotiating with Netflix, my team approached other combatants to enlist their support. Tommy Fury got things started, but he wanted more cash. After months of talking, we eventually convinced Mike Tyson to fight. There were no bargains being offered by Mike Tyson. Since you are already aware of the situation, I'm not sure why he is claiming that we made the offer. Tommy Fury regrets turning down the Netflix bag since it leaves him with no other choice when it comes to dealing with opponents in the future. He's not going to be boxing in the traditional sense. In my opinion, it's useless. According to reports, 260 million subscribers were expecting a boxing battle between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul to earn $300 million. The historic clash will be streamed live and for free on Netflix. Behemoth's first ever live boxing match in an interview with the BBC two years prior. Paul prophesied that a bout between Iron Mike and himself would bring in a ton of money since it would be able to attract two different types of viewers. With my pals, I make jokes about it. I'm thinking, I'm going to start eating Krispy Kreme donuts, work my way up to heavyweight, and face Mike Tyson. Since it's a 2000, $300 million event that would genuinely thrill me. So Mike, I believe the audience would want to witness new school versus old school. So if you're watching, let's have some fun with that. Paul stated that for this reason, despite what some people are saying on the internet, if this fight happens on July 20th and both fighters' health is good, it would break all boxing records and perhaps be the most viewed bout ever because it will be available on Netflix. That brings an end to today's video. Make sure to enable the post notification bell and subscribe to Combat Sports World's future videos to ensure you don't miss any updates. See you in the next one. Until then.